a good view of the uh, two international modules, the Columbus module on the right and the new Kibo laboratory on the left. The fly around underway, Discovery uh, will move to a point 600 feet directly above the station, then behind and below it, moving once again in front of the station, completing a, a final quadrant, uh, a fly around uh, to reach a point 600 feet directly above the station once again, at which point a series of reaction control system jet firings will begin the separation by Discovery from the complex. Now flying into an orbital sunrise, a bird's eye view of the International Space Station from the shuttle Discovery. An excellent view from top to bottom, the European Space Agency's Jules Verne automated transfer vehicle mated uh, to the aft end of the Zvezda service module. An end-to-end -end view of the station's truss. The U.S. Uh, laboratory Destiny at the bottom of your screen, in the middle, is the Harmony connecting node. At the very bottom, the conical uh, black port was pressurized mating adapter number two, the docking port for Discovery. On the left of your screen, the European Space Agency's Columbus module and the massive Kibo laboratory, the new Japanese laboratory, with its uh, robotic arm in its stowed configuration on the right and the turret-like circular Japanese logistics module mounted on top. Pilot Ken Ham at the controls of the aft flight deck of the orbiter, which is now directly above the International Space Station, 625 feet away. This view now uh, coming from the International Space Station's cameras looking at the uh, shuttle Discovery with uh, its robotic arm and the 50-foot long orbiter boom sensor system attached, which will be used later today for the inspection of the reinforced carbon-carbon on the shuttle's wings and its nose cap. 673 feet separating the two vehicles. Discovery uh, moving uh, to a point behind the International Space Station. Great view of the shuttle Discovery from the International Space Station external cameras. The two vehicles passing off the north coast of South America, now crossing the equator. Looking down at uh, the overhead windows, on the crew cabin of Discovery, in which pilot Ken Ham is at the controls, conducting uh, his fly around the final separation between the two vehicles just over an hour from now.